this episode we had a road trip to Canberra which is the capital city of Australia. It's about 3 hours driving from Sydney and has been one of the most favourite road trip destinations for Sydney siders. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notification for our upcoming videos. Hope you enjoyed this video and let's begin our Canberra journey. Going to the room tour. So when you first come in, there's a bathroom and this is a shower. I think it's really decent space and all accessories. And they have the desk station if you need to work. The coffee machine, kettle, and you know just normal and then the fridge. And you can store your food, cups, and drawer. And dining chair and this is the bed there's Eloise <laughs> hi Eloise <laughs> and this one is really nice you have like a nook just to chill and you have a TV the cost for this hotel per room is 115 and including the car parking as well and I think it's pretty decent price for the size and for the quality of the hotel it's very clean and it's very nice hotel so to open our Canberra trip we're going to have Korean food for our dinner so we're at Dixon suburb and there are a lot of Asian restaurants in here it's freezing right now, it's 2 degrees and yeah, we're gonna have some Korean soup I'm going to try the chicken the sauce is pretty special it's not too spicy and it's not too sweet as well it's perfect balance I think mm, yum alright so I got this spicy beef rib soup and it just looks so delicious guys okay let me try the soup first wow it's been really cold outside so it's really nice to have this and it's not actually that spicy you know the spicy part is from the pepper now let me try the beef mm. yeah it's so tender it's perfectly cooked it's really tender it's so soft and they got this fermented veggie which is one of my favorite Mm. It's really good to get the saltiness from this veggie. They're really generous with the portion. So in this small pot, there are four chunks of beef ribs. This is the clay beef soup. I'm going to try. Mm. The beef is so soft. And then the soup is very refreshing because it's so clear and it's not oily at all. This kind of soup is called Hai Jangguk in Korean. That's why the restaurant named my mom Yang Pyong Hai Jangguk. And that's the end of our first night in Canberra. The next day we visited Korean Forest and had dinner at our favorite Filipino restaurant. But first stop, we had the most famous burger in town, Broad Burger. We've actually been here before when we were in Canberra and yeah, we're so excited to try it again. And I think they have three branches right now and we're going to the one at Kingston. And every time we're going to this branch, it's always so busy, so... So my one is chicken burger and this one is cost $16 just for the burger itself. But if you see, they are so generous with the chicken with the lettuce and with all the filling I'm going to try it out mm. I think what make it special is the sauce because they have special sauce inside of the burger 
So for the chicken burger, they have bacon and chicken breast and all tomato, lettuce, onion and avocado and special sauce. Alright, so I got the broad dogs. It's quite special because this hot dog is not a regular hot dog. We got a lot of toppings in it. It has coleslaw, shredded cheese and this sweet potato crisps and they also have a bacon inside so yeah and the portion is pretty big too I'm not sure how to eat it let's try it mm, wow there's a lot of flavors happening in it this tomato sauce with the coleslaw together combined is really good and I think it's a really great idea that they put the sweet potato crisps because it gives the crispiness into the hot dog and this broad dog costs 11 dollars I'm just ending up eating with knife and fork this is too big are you eating steak honey? and every time we go into this place I always got these onion rings mm. what I like about the onion rings it's not like the normal crispy onion rings so it's quite doughy so it's like onion rings slash donut Alright, so we just finished from the broad burger. You gotta try and this the, burger. And, and sauce. And the sauce, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try this broad burger if you ever come visit Canberra. And now we're gonna go to Corin Forest. We're gonna take Alice to place snows. Corinth Forest is located in the mountain ranges just 45 minutes from the heart of Canberra. Surrounded by tall forests in a secluded mountain valley and provides Canberra only snow experience. The activities including skiing, tobogganing and favorite snow play in all ages, building a snowman. There is also a cafe and open areas to walk around and have a picnic which makes a great hangout place with families and friends. You ready? Hi guys, we are at Korean Forest now. It took us 45 minutes from Canberra and because of the pandemic, uh, they limit the session for 100 people so you need to pre-book the ticket from online and it costs you $20 to get in and to hire the table gun, it's $5 and it's very uh, nice area for kids it's very kids friendly and then I also recommend that you bring your kids boots and all the gear for the snow There's a kid on the <laughs> Do you like it, you like it? No. <laughs> What happened with your face? You like the slide? No. Why? Why are you loving? No. Let's go one more. At least one no. more. No. No, come on. Silly daddy. <laughs> 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 
I think this place is perfect for family with little kids at you know Ellis age. And I saw a family carrying one year baby came over and played the toboggan, so yeah. going to make a snowman. Are we going to make Olaf? Yeah. And just how to make snow. Oh, it's easy. You just need sticky tape. <laughs> Look at this. See, I need a sticky tape. <laughs> so I think the movie is lying, right? It's look that easy to make a snowman. No, I think you need the fresh snow. So yeah. this is Angel Snowman. <laughs> without eyes, without nose. Why don't you wash your hand? <laughs> so cold. <laughs> look, Eloise, look. Look. Wait, 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 don't touch, don't touch. Finally. All together. Whoa! Wait, Eloise. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished from Corin Forest and we're getting hungry again. And now I think we're gonna have Filipino food. This is one of our favorite restaurants in Canberra and it's called Lolo and Lola. So every time we come to Canberra we always visit this restaurant. And yeah. Can't wait to try. So my recommendation when you come here, if you like the cake, they have ube, they have cheesecake, they have pandan cake. You order first for takeaway because they're always sold out. We ordered two cakes and one biscuit. So it's pandan and this one and this is ube I like ube. I like and this is like chocolate brownie So the first menu that we order is combination noodle and with this combination noodle you get everything you get chicken, you get pork, you get beef, you get liver and you get egg as well The first thing that I'm going to try is the soup Wow, it's so tasty but it's not oily at all, it's really really refreshing. I never taste something like this. I think they use tamarind. Mm. What makes it so special, they put the pork cracker to the soup. It makes it so yummy. Alright, so now I'm going to try the garlic rice. I'm going to try it by itself. I can smell the garlic really strong. Eat it by itself, it has already really nice. Now I'm gonna try this crispy pork belly. Look how crispy is this. Mm. Wow, this is super duper crispy. This is like eating pork crackers. And the pork belly is so tender as well. Now I'm gonna dip into the sauce. Wow, and I like the sauce very much. It has a perfect amount of saltiness, sourness, and it's a little bit sweet as well. So it's really nice, guys. You gotta come to Lolo and Lola. And now I'm gonna try this mixed veggie soup with prawn. So they have okra, green beans, eggplant, pumpkins, and prawns. So not many people like okra, but I love this vegetables. This is really good for your tummy, guys. The sour taste is so good, and it's really refreshing, especially in cold weather. Eating this soup is perfect. So next menu is salmon tamarind miso soup. I'm looking forward to try this one. And if you see the soup, they have so many good stuff. They have eggplant, and they have radish. 
They have salmon, onion, and tomato. I'm going to try the soup first. Mm. If you like sweet and sour soup, this will be for you. Wow. I'm gonna eat the salmon as well. Mm. The salmon bring the sweetness to the sweet and sour soup. So it's perfect. Oh my god. It's really nice guys. So we're going to close our dinner with special dessert. It's rice bowl coconut dessert. Wow, wow, wow. You have banana, jackfruit, purple yam, sweet potato, flowers. and flowers. <laughs> going to try guys. Mm. Wow. It's warm. It's perfect for this weather. And surprisingly, it's not that sweet. So you really need to try this dessert out of three because they have the donut, this one on the ice cream, and this one I think this more special one. Yeah, you're right, it's not that sweet. And that's what we like. They have a small mochi. Alright guys, so we just finished our dinner and it was really great dinner and Eloise loved the noodles. Yeah, so we really recommend Lolo and Lola if you have a visit camera. And chicken. And chicken, yeah. Eloise loves noodles and the chicken. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.